I always quite enjoy reviewing portable power banks on this channel. We have so much tech that we need to keep charged and working that I think that pretty much all of us must own one by this point, right? Like whether it's cameras, phones, headphones, uh, you know, laptops now, we can keep all those devices running. And so when a representative of Itzon got in touch with me uh, earlier on this year and said, hey, we're launching this new brand, um, would you be interested in taking a look at the new single-use batteries that we've made? I initially thought, wow, there's still people using single-use batteries, but of course there are. There's loads of devices at home that you'd have single-use batteries powering most of the time. Because most of us just go to supermarket or buy online the basic Duracell Energizer batteries that we're used to, right? Personally, that's not me, but we'll get into that a little bit later. But I thought, actually, this brand is quite interesting because it seems that they're actually producing their single-use batteries in Europe. And they're doing it as sustainably as possible by using wind and solar energy um, during production. So actually, these single-use batteries, uh, which are also 95% recycled, are probably as kind to the environment as you can get for a single-use battery. So that's, that's a bit of a change. It's a different messaging to what I've seen in the past. In the past, batteries have always been about as much power as possible, but actually it's on seem to be doing something a bit different and are trying to be as sustainable as possible. It's a very different proposition to the one that I've always been used to with single-use batteries. And then I thought, wow, what's the company behind this? Who's, who's running this? And I saw Advanced Power Solutions. I hadn't heard of them. But reading through the materials that I got sent with this wonderful box of goodies they sent me, it turns out that it's the new name for Panasonic Energy Europe. And that, I thought, was interesting. Because I've been using Panasonic batteries for years, specifically the Eneloop line of products. Their rechargeable batteries are, in my mind, the best on the market. They last the longest, they provide the best performance, and I am yet to have one fully fail on me. So it looks like Panasonic have gone a bit further and they're now making single-use batteries. They might have in the past, I didn't look into it in a huge amount of detail, but I certainly wasn't aware of them before. And they've also made this new line of rechargeable batteries. Now, after some um, talk with the representative, it seems that the actual It's On Recharge is a uh, new brand name for the Eneloops. I don't know whether they're going to be running them concurrently forever. Uh, I have no um, information on that. But that means that these It's On Recharge batteries, well, they should be as good as the Eneloop Pros and Eneloops. And that can only be a good thing. So let's have a, a talk through what we have here and the different products, because if you're considering buying or changing to um, these It's On batteries, you might want a bit of an overview. First off, let's focus on the alkalines, the single-use batteries. You have two steps. You have It's Power and then you have It's Premium. Now, the It's Power batteries are essentially the basic battery that they make, so the basic uh, alkaline battery that they sell you. And then the, its premium version will provide better performance um, and they're obviously a little bit more expensive. So that's the difference. Here we've got a pack of 10 its premium uh, AAs. I've already been using, uh, double A's rather, I've already been using them a fair bit. Um, I bought these last month, so I bought these in my own money, um, and they have an expiry date of 2034. So that's a good long life on them. Um, that's 10 years that you're not going to be worried about them being dead when you use them. Excellent. Now, the It's Power battery, uh, they're a bit of more of a friendly sort of red and purple, I guess, again, sort of appealing to, to us. Same expiry date of 10 years' time. So that's excellent. And both the premium and power versions are 95% recycled. That is important. Also, we're saying that all the packaging is as paper as it gets, uh, recycled uh, cardstock. So this, again, really, really sustainable and quite a big difference. Now, when we step up to the rechargeable batteries, um, we have its Recharge and its Recharge Pro. Again, really basic Eneloop, Eneloop Pro. I think that's basically what we're seeing here. There are some differences. Now, these Eneloops, these must be quite old. They must be part of the original ones I bought years and years ago. Um, these say a minimum of 1900 milli milliamp hours. And when I look at the its Recharge, they say 2000 minimum. Uh, milliamp hours. So we're already saying these are slightly higher power than the original Eneloops. I don't know if they changed the Eneloops in between. They might well have done. Now the Eneloop Pros, which I have many, many of. Um, I bought the last set probably at the start of this year. Um, so these are minimum of two and a half thousand milliamp hours 
which is exactly the same as the It's Recharge Pro. So the It's Recharge Pro is for all intents and purposes, the same product as the Enloop Pro. And that's a good thing. That is a battery I would depend on and I would trust. As you can also see, I've got the full set of double A's and triple A's um, of the rechargers plus another set. Um, they did send me on a couple of rechargeables. I'd already bought the whole set, so full disclosure there. Whoops. Um, they sent me the uh, It's Premium, It's Power, the triple A's and double A's. I bought the It's Premium double A's because I wanted to see what the pack of 10 was like. Um, Good packaging and the batteries are fantastic and they didn't send me the double a's of the it's premium um, i wanted to try those out so what can i tell you about these batteries well using them in a high performance scenario which is uh, this is my nikon sb5000 speed light i rely on this when i'm doing flash photography it is a very powerful flash um, i could not discern a difference in recycle times between the it's recharge pro and the Enloop pros and that is the highest accolade I could give them. The battery is dependable and it works. So what about a more traditional um, use case? Well, if we use the rechargeables here, um, and I just pop the its on its recharge into my remote control here. Well, guess what? They function exactly as the rechargeable batteries on a remote control should. Um, there's no issues with this. I, I find the rechargeables work just as well as the single use. So that's excellent. Um, and then if we talk about a slightly more high performance um, use is a, this is a um, UV flashlight. It, it uses so much energy. Um, I find it never lasts terribly long. It uses three uh, double A's. This it's premium um, battery. So the alkaline version, obviously we put the rechargeable in that remote. Again, works perfectly. Now, yeah, obviously this is, this is an AA battery, a double A battery. They're gonna work, right? That's the most basic thing. There we go. Lovely UV light works perfectly as it should. Excellent. But the point here is this, the single use batteries are probably some of the most sustainable you're going to find on the market. I really don't know of anyone else that's done similar um, sort of sustainability to this, le to this level. If you're buying them in, in Europe, you also have the bonus of they haven't traveled as far as being produced uh, somewhere else. So that's great. The rechargeable batteries are still made in Japan. Again, you need to think of these, in my opinion, as rebranded Enloop batteries. That is not a bad thing, okay? I need to reiterate that. Rebranding the Enloop ones, absolutely fine, because those batteries are fantastic. Made in Japan, they're also charged with solar energy, as the Enloops were. Um, excellent, great batteries. So why, why should you care? Well, I think nowadays we are becoming more conscious about our impact on the environment. And if you're gonna have to buy a single use battery, I would say the It's On, It's Premium, It's Power Line is a good choice. At least it hasn't traveled as far if you're based in Europe. It is made out of recycled materials. It's in recycled packaging. It's made of renewable energy. Like as a single use product goes, that's as good as it's gonna get. Personally, if I was going to give you any advice, I would say buy the It's On Rechargeable batteries, or indeed the Enloops, um, they are the same thing, and reuse them. Um, I, I don't know if It's On's already selling it, but the Enloop, uh, Panasonic Enloops, um, have an associated charger that's really good, has some great LEDs, it tells you when they're, they're charged, charges them up in a few hours. I use that charger all the time, and I would absolutely um, tell you to do the same. So if you can handle the hassle of recharging your batteries occasionally, uh, AA and AAAs uh, in a rechargeable format are much better. Um, also must say, cost-wise, it works out pretty damn quickly. Like I think if you use these less than 10 times, it's cheaper than buying um, a non-rechargeable. So do think about that. The only use case where you're gonna want to have non-rechargeables is if you're gonna be storing them for a very long time and they're like emergency batteries. Um, in my case, I have a set of lithium single-use batteries that I keep a, a brand new box for in my camera bag for my flash guns. And that's just in case something really weird's happened. I've left the flash switched on, somehow it's gone off a bit in the bag and the batteries really are empty. In those cases, having a set of um, single-use batteries is excellent. I will now carry the It's Premiums because I have so many of them now. Um, I, I 
just don't tend to buy single use very much. But for me, having rechargeable batteries is fantastic. If you're a photographer, and there's a lot of people that love photography that follow this channel, if you haven't used rechargeable batteries in your products, please do, for the love of God. Um, buy the Unloop Pros or buy the Itzon Recharge Pros. You will not regret it. The performance is better than single-use alkalines um, in a flash gun and indeed some of your other electronics. So keep that in mind as well. So thank you to Itzon for sending over um, a couple of these batteries, many of which I also bought the ones on these tables so I could test them out properly. Um, they also sent some other sort of sustainable goodies in this uh, bag as well, uh, this box as well, which was great, very nice of them. Um, didn't really influence this because to be honest, I'd already bought into Panasonic Eneloops a long time ago. And knowing this is just a rebrand in terms of the recharge is great. And seeing something this sustainable as a single use product is pretty good too. Don't forget to recycle your batteries, your single use batteries. Most supermarkets do have a battery uh, recycle point. So if you're gonna use single use for the love of God, at least recycle them. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you found the video useful. Um, if you have used these batteries or are now gonna consider switching over to rechargeables, let me know. Um, I promise you won't regret it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. I promise some more photography content coming up soon um, and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. I hope I see you in the next one. Goodbye.